first run um, on one of our favorite local test spots, it became apparent like this bike was pretty sick. So. We've been lucky enough to have this bike for about a month and a half now and have been putting a lot of time, a lot of miles in on it and uh, really trying to evaluate where it excels, who the ideal consumer for this bike might be. Compared to the Heckler that we've reviewed just a few months back, the new Bullet has a lot of updates and upgrades, which uh, in our opinion, make it a much better and more fun bike for the type of riding we like to do. Obviously it is a 170 mil bike, so it could be overkill for some, but we're gonna get into some of the things that we like the best about it so far. It has a 630 watt hour battery and the new Shimano EP8 drive unit. Shimano claims that they've reduced the mechanical drag over 35%, so it's gonna be a more efficient and uh, better performing motor in the long run. And along with what's visible here on the screen, Shimano has also improved their eTube app on your cell phone, which will allow you to connect to your bicycle and modify the power settings. You can easily adjust your power modes from nine to 11, nine being a lower power, 11 being max boost. And you can do that for each of your settings from eco all the way to boost. So if you want boost to come on strong and be maximum support, or if you want uh, a real low eco to be just like your creep home when the battery's empty mode and run boost and trail at full steam, it's kind of up to you, which is a really nice feature. Another nice feature with the Bullet is the removable battery cover here. Uh, Santa Cruz re-examined the material and the closure system. The new battery cover is made out of a polycarbonate and it has a uh, gasket that runs around the perimeter. So it's gonna do a good job of keeping out any elements, weather, water, mud, etc., and make the battery easily removable if you do need to charge it. And speaking of neat features, Santa Cruz has designed their own DI2 or STEPS compatible handlebar. So if you'll notice the cockpit's really clean. Now the bars have uh, internal cutouts and channels so that you can run um, all your wires to the screen and everything inside. So really nice. These are gonna be available aftermarket in 25 or 35 mil rise. And uh, we've actually been quite impressed with not only the look, but how they ride and feel. On top of that, Santa Cruz has come up with some new grips to replace the old Palmdales, which were not uh, our favorite grips, especially if you had sweaty palms or were riding in the wet. Had some uh, time on a Zoom meeting with the guys from Santa Cruz and they laughed and uh, kind of joked around with the engineers that they might've spent as much time working on these grips as they did the whole bike itself. So after spending some time on this bike at home and out on some new trails as well, we're really liking the geometry on this size large. I'm 5'11", about 168, 170, and uh, find the 475 reach to be comfortable, but not cumbersome. 77.1 uh, degree seat tube angle puts you in a pretty nice upright position. Chain stays are at 449, which is um, I think only about four mils longer than the Heckler, but it strikes a nice balance. It's still playful, it manuals well. Um, you can kind of snap the bike into corners and it still climbs well. Obviously, the, the shorter your chain stays get, the, the more, I guess, out of sorts you can get on really fast, high-speed terrain. And obviously, with e-bikes being able to climb really steep hill climbs, you don't want a really short rear end um, because you're gonna start looping out and having a hard time keeping that front tire down. So, Having that 449 chain say is a pretty good balance point between you know still being fun, agile, uh, snappy, and still being able to keep that front tire down on the steep climbs and give you the traction when you need to get up a mountain as well. The bullet has a 64 degree head tube angle, which is pretty solid. Uh, you know, it gives you that stability and predictability you want, the confidence, especially combined with that 29 inch front tire to really let that front end eat and uh, point it down some of the steeper, rockier terrain you might hit. And then the 27.5 rear end kind of, again, doesn't make the bike too cumbersome when you really wanna snap around on a lot of the tight trails like you've seen we're riding out here today. 
but when you get into the fast open stuff, having that larger front tire and 29-inch uh, front wheel really gets the speed up and kind of lets you have confidence, weight that front tire, and uh, really let the ass guys go to work. So for the wheel spec, we've got the Santa Cruz Reserve DH 27.5 again and the Santa Cruz Reserve 29 up front. Obviously, uh, you guys are probably aware of the reliability, durability, and warranty. Their commitment to making bikes that last as long as you have them. They've got hardware and linkage guarantees for 10 years, and I think uh, most people probably aren't gonna be keeping this bike 10 years, but if you do, rest assured that Santa Cruz will stand behind the carbon hardware and uh, guarantee that this thing's gonna keep riding and keep giving you smiles on the trails. We have learned a lot about this bike. We are still a long ways from knowing it intimately and what it's gonna do in every situation, but uh, so far, this is definitely a, a standout bike and a real winner in the long travel e-bike category. If you're looking for something in that kind of 170 range, or even if you're like an aggressive 150 rider, I would say don't let this bike scare you away. You know, it's, it's like 48-ish pounds, so it's on par with most e-bikes. The sensitivity, the suppleness is a major step up from what we felt on the Heckler. The, the suspension performance on this is a night and day difference. It is a lot more supple and sensitive off the top and in that kind of like square edge, fast, high speed compression. So definitely kudos to Santa Cruz for getting that sorted and uh, stoked on that. Range, definitely uh, much better than the smaller battery on the Heckler. The new EP8 motor is efficient. Really awesome to see how long the, the battery in this motor can run. This is actually one of the first rides I've taken that's been an all day high mileage affair and uh, I'm stoked to see where I'm at. This bike's got us really excited. I know we keep saying that, but it's just, I feel like we're in this arms race of e-bike. Every new e-bike that comes out is just getting better and better. And uh, the Bullet CC is definitely it's definitely in the race, we'll say that. So uh, stay tuned for a long-term review in the future. We will continue to bash on this thing, pass it around to the rest of the crew and uh, report back in the future. But um, if you're looking to pull the trigger right now, holiday season shopping time, you probably won't be bummed if you don't wait for that long-term review to come out because this thing's pretty sick. So thanks for tuning in guys. We'll catch you out on the trails.